Zach's Rank Buys starts with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Each stock within the Zach's Rank Buy universe is chosen based on how well it matches criteria comprising the four main investing styles. To review those with you, their aggressive growth, growth in income, momentum, and value. Today we talk about some value stocks with Tracy Reinick. Tracy is our value stock analyst at Zach's.com. So, you have brought a fresh batch of value stocks here. Yes. And uh, you're leading with your most recent that you've written about on September the 16th, Lincoln Electric Holdings. Where's the value? Well, they are a arc welding manufacturer, um, and arc welding is used to put together like basically big pieces of metal is right. what you use that technique to to do. Right. Now, unless and I'm wrong, I haven't heard of any big move-ups in that industry lately, well, the arc welding industry. Well, you wouldn't think so, but when you think about what's happening on the global economy, it does make sense that this company is doing well right now okay. because, um, you know, there's building going on everywhere. Everybody's drill, drill, drill around the world. Um, they're, that technique is used to make oil refineries and also pipelines uh, amongst various other things, transportation, um, regular construction. Mm -hmm. So they are actually seeing big sales overseas. Um, They're also benefiting from the uh, weakening dollar. So they are one of the ones you hear on the news that the exports are rising. They saw exports rise about 28% in the quarter. And the street likes them. Yes. Estimates are up. Uh, For a company like them, uh, it's not going to be huge increases, but estimates are rising for both the quarter and for the year. All right. On September the 12th, you wrote about Chart Industries Incorporated, GTLS, the ticker symbol. And again, I ask, where's the value here? Um, They make uh, kind of similar industries in a strange way, but they do much more with the um, liquefaction, purification of gases. And some of those are hydrocarbons, so they're seeing an uptick in business for the hydro- hydrocarbons areas, but they also do oxygen, nitrogen, all those other crazy gases, helium. Okay. Uh, they're trading at a good valuation. I think their PE is a little bit under 12. That's pretty cheap. Uh, their estimates are rising. They actually raised guidance for the quarter, so things are looking up for them, and in this kind of economic environment, that's a positive thing. So what I'm hearing then is companies that have exposure to multiple industries are the ones that fare out better as value picks. Yes, this week actually uh, a whole bunch of these stocks are in various, well, three out of the four are in various industries. So yeah, they're seeing uh, both domestic and international growth. Uh, and if, if domestic is slowing, then they're making it up in the international side. So they're not as bad off as companies that are just focusing on North American market right now. All right. On the 11th of September, you wrote about Agrium. AGU, the ticker symbol. Stock's been getting beaten up lately in the commodity sell-off. Yes. So how could there be value here? Well, the stock has been beaten up so badly that they're really cheap. Oh. They're trading under seven times earnings, but the estimates are still rising. Uh, they just increased in the last week. Uh, one analyst just raised for the quarter and for the year. It, it, they're not seeing any kind of slowdown right now. They do both fertilizers in the nitrogen, phosphate, and the po- potash areas. And then they also are kind of unique amongst the fertilizers because they also put out seeds and various other farming products uh, in North America, Argentina, and Chile. And that segment is also booming. So they have both fertilizers plus the products going directly to the farmers. And you make a point of saying that fertilizer prices have soared lately. However, is that party going to be coming to an end with all of the flooding that we've seen lately and the massive rains around the country and the sell-off in commodities? No, not really, because if they're having trouble with the crops, they're going to have to have more fertilizers to actually increase their crop supply. And there's also a shortage. Are beyond the window for being able to replant this season? Um, There's a fall, and then there's the spring. So they have, Agrium has enough supply for the fall right now. The spring is going to be the kind of key to where the pricing goes in the fertilizers, because one of the big fertilizer manufacturers, not Agrium, actually has a strike right now in Canada. So it's going to, if it continues on, it's been about a month now. If it continues on, it's really going to start Im- impacting supply. So. so they gear up this far in advance yes. for the next season. Yes. And then on the 10th of September, you wrote about Goodrich Corporation, GR, the ticker symbol. They have uh, recently raised their full year guidance. Yes. Sales are up. Yep. Would seem to be a natural value stock here. Yeah, they're another one who is benefiting from multiple industries, although they, they're big in uh, aircraft. They make landing gear, sensors, 
I've done a couple companies that are kind of big in the aircraft industry, but that's for both commercial and the aerospace. That is the hot market right now. I mean, despite problems with the airline industry, there's new jets being ordered, you know, around the world right now, and, and Goodrich is taking advantage of that. All right. Do you or does anyone in your household own any of these stocks? I do not. All right. Earnings estimate revisions are the most powerful force impacting stock prices, and the Zacks rank takes advantage of changes in those estimates to help investors become more profitable. And each day on Zacks.com, Zacks rank buy stocks for the various investment strategies are spotlighted. You can read more about the ones that we've talked about here with Tracy by linking to them off of our homepage at Zacks.com. You can learn about the entire Zacks rank buy concept as well by going to Zacks.com forward slash rank with Tracy Reinick. I'm Terry Ruffalo.